Hello friends, welcome to another tutorial where we'll design an M-derived low pass filter. In the previous tutorial we talked about the need of designing an M-derived filter from a constant K type filter. With the help of this numerical a lot of uh, doubts will be clearer and you'll get to know an insight of how uh, the component values change from the constant K type filter to M derived filter uh, for good. Now we have a question in hand which says that we need to design an M derived low pass filter both the sections T and pi sections and the design resistance R0 or the constant K is given as 500 ohms the cutoff frequency FC is given as 5, 1500 hertz and the infinite attenuation frequency which is often known as f alpha at times or f infinity is given to be 2000 hertz now the first thing is to visualize the response of this uh, design of the filter because if we do that we'll be able to understand why we are modifying the filter to get the sharp cutoffs so the first thing is to visualize the response because it's a low pass filter so it is going to allow the frequencies from zero to the cutoff frequencies to absolutely pass through it so fc is the cutoff frequency however uh, it is allowing the frequencies after fc up to f infinity which is the infinite attenuation frequencies to somewhat allow through it so this is where the sluggishness of the filter comes into play which we want to remove so this sluggish response of the filter is what we want to remove and because of this uh, difference of uh, frequencies which are uh, which are being allowed by the filter which shouldn't have been uh, allowed in the first place we calculate a constant by the name of m which is used to change the component values and the step number two could be uh, you know finding the component values for a constant k type prototype filter so with the help of this design resistance R0 and FC we can find out the values of L and C because the two principal components are L and C so by substituting the values 500 upon pi into 1500 gives me 106.86 millihenry as my L which will be my Z1 the impedance in the series arm for a low pass filter and C will be uh, likewise you have other parameters that you can calculate for a constant K type a low pass filter alpha the impedance of the T section impedance of the pi section those are not going to be used in this particular tutorial we simply need the values of the components L and C because in the coming step in the next step we'll need to design uh, the constant K type filter which will be designed from the values of L and C so from the values of L and C L by 2 will become 53.43 C is I'm sorry the value of C is uh, point 424 microfarad and this is millihenry the value of L is 106.86 uh, millihenry and the value of C by 2 will come out to be 0.212 microfarad and the reason why we uh, calculate all the component values is that we'll simply substitute these values here and our filter will be ready 
so this will be it the value of C is 0.424 microfarad please make a correction at this point but this value of C will represent the uh, value of Z2 which is our shunt impedance so uh, after having designed the constant K type filter which will look something like this this filter will have a response like this it will start cutting off the uh, signal after FC frequency however it will completely stop the signals of frequencies above F infinity which is 2000 so this sluggishness needs to be removed and that can be removed by finding a constant uh, which is known as M and this M uh, is going to be equivalent to 1 minus 1500 upon 2000 square and this will come out to be 0 0.661 so this value of m will be used to find the component values of the m derived filter because if you wish to convert your constant k type filter into m derived filter so a low pass filter t section modifies into an m derived low pass filter of T section like this now this has been discussed previously in the last tutorial uh, the impedances in the uh, series arm they are changed to ML by 2 instead of using L by 2 we'll change it to ML by 2 and uh, along with this capacitor of C which modifies to C by M in M derived filter we add up another uh, component which is 1 minus M square upon 4M into L which is dependent upon the impedance of the series arm which has been discussed uh, you could note down the modifications of the low pass filters pi section and in pi section the series arm will get an additional component which is 1 minus m square upon 4m into c and the shunt components are uh, changed like this mc by 2 mc by 2 so if you look at the components here in this m derived low pass filter t section and pi section they are ml by 2 cm uh, c by m so on and so forth so you simply need to calculate these values by substituting m is equivalent to 0.661 here and taking the values of l and c from here and by doing so we get uh, 0.661 into 106.86 upon 2 gives me 35.09 millihenry so you can calculate these values at your own pace I'll simply write down the values here and this becomes 22.596 millihenry now of course this is a tedious process it requires a lot of calculations on the calculator but you need to do it correctly in order to get the correct answer Alright, now having determined all the component values in the final final step of showing the M derived low pass filters T section you simply need to put these values here. So this 35.09 millihenry inductance goes into the series arm similarly 35.09 goes into the other arm 
C by M is 0.641 microfarad and this L has a value 22.596 millihenry. So after substituting the values in this diagram the solution to the problem is complete so our uh, constant k type filters have been modified into m derived filters which will look something like this and in the next step which is pretty interesting if you wish to do this is an optional uh, step for your uh, understanding and convenience uh, we know that the impedance of the T section is given by uh, this formula where Z1 is the series impedance and Z2 is the shunt impedance and Z0 pi is given by this formula. In our case, our Z1 is the component value L, Z2 is the component value C and M is uh, 0.661. Now the newer Z1 dash uh, can be found for Z O pi as uh, the as the combination of these two parallel uh, branches. So, in other words, you could say that Z one dash is M L parallel one minus M square upon four M into C and Z2 dash is the new component value which can be found by adding up these two component values in the T section. So this is going to be C by M plus 1 minus M square upon 4 M into L. So <clears throat> if you substitute these values of Z1 and Z2 on the left hand side equations and the values of Z1, Z2, Z2 dash, Z1 dash on the right hand side equations uh, the uh, the first equation uh, which should be satisfied is ZOT should be equivalent to ZOT dash because the impedance of the uh, filter does not change the characteristic impedance of the filter does not change and Z O pi will come out to be equivalent to Z O pi dash. So this is one exercise that you can do to see that even after having made uh, so many changes in the component values, adding up component values in the M derived filter section, uh, the uh, characteristic impedance of the filter does not change. And uh, although the characteristic impedance does not change, the response of the new M derived filter will definitely change from this sluggish re response to uh, this sharp response. So uh, the response of an M derived filter if you wish to visualize is going to be something like this as opposed to what was obtained with the constant K type filter. So this is what we have achieved after designing this filter and of course uh, this exercise is for uh, yours to do and uh, just let me know if you were able to relate these two equations with equality in the comment section below and I hope this tutorial was of help and you understood the design of, a, of an M-derived low pass filter in a comprehensive way and thank you so much for watching the video uh, please share the good word uh, with friends share the video like it subscribe to the channel it will be a great help i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye